Okay, in this video, I'm going to just give you a little preview of some of the things that are going to show up on my Sci-Fi Animator website when I finally launch it this week, kind of in a very rudimentary form. Because, well, I'd like to be able to afford a you know really expensive server so it could allow for a lot of downloads and things like that. But, frankly, the YouTube views that I get, they're good. They're very good, but they're not in the tens of thousands per month. So my YouTube income is just measly, I assure you. And so I need to find another way to fund my my time to do it. And so what I'm going to do on the website, and this in part I'm looking for some feedback from you all as to what might work for you, if it does at all. And that is like, for instance, um, since I don't really tend to teach general purpose tutorials, I'm more technically oriented and, and more interested in teaching more math, science, programming, engineering applications, and combining that with Blender. And it kind of gives us as users a technical advantage but that's not really where the mass market is you know the mass market for blender tutorials is more towards making it character animations and just a simpler type animations versus being more technically and mathematically inclined and it's understandable but as such I can't really justify say a site like blender cookie or blender guru where they have or like blender cookie that has a you know a monthly subscription or like blend swap the same way but they're basing theirs on being able to get a much larger market share than I have for the audience that I'm looking to attract so I'm kind of trying to see what might work for you whether a subscription based service would work whether you'd be interested in tutorials like for instance this is a tutorial that will come out based on uh, design of a game in the game engine because in a short period of time I can generate tutorials that can greatly simplify your work in the sense that it it takes a lot of time to develop this stuff but since I'm a programmer and I've spent my time doing it I can make it a lot quicker for you to come up to speed on this stuff and time is money so it would certainly be more to your advantage to purchase a training tutorial or something and then to spend weeks and weeks or months and months and months to try and actually reach a similar state okay so that's really the purpose of doing it is to help everybody get up to speed as quick as possible and that's why I have almost 500 free tutorials on blender that I've put up in the last seven months to help everybody gain intermediate blender skills because a lot of my tutorials are going to be intermediate and advanced tutorials on the website but I'll have I'll cover a whole range of subjects to a appeal to a you know a large variety of people but I'll show you some of the other things like well I'll just see if I can run this I forget what this is I'll just run it oh yeah I have my buildings in here I can put in the scene maybe you've seen this before I don't know but I can activate this tank here let me activate where is Mr. Tank or maybe I activate this tank here All right and just things can happen in the scene they can fire things it's not firing quite as fast. Well, I have two tanks going that's why tanks and explosions I can change the turrets well, I better activate the spaceship it can cruise along too it's a little slow in the video but I assure you it's not slow when I'm running it in the scene even that can fire I can build buildings on the fly but I can teach you a lot of these cool things in short order through these type of tutorials so this is like one kind of tutorial that would show up would be basically a blender game engine tutorial how to basically get your introductory uh, game skills in order so then other things you might show up would be like this here's some software that I've written and this is my like extra long stack calculator this runs like the length of your screen so you can sit down at the bottom of the screen and what's cool about it is it has a stack in here so you can see the results of your work over time so for instance let's say I just take a number the number five and I put it in here and I just multiply it by two and you can see the results and if I keep doing it you're gonna see it keeps loading it up onto the stack if I just keep multiplying it by two and it's a really quick way to view a lot of numbers if you're number based there's the actual answer and there it is in here in fact I'll just multiply it by five now and you will even see a lot of digits and it even goes into um, scientific notation in computer format if I get it here long enough well or you go the other direction but there's a lot of things these are these are operations for the top of the stack of the calculator here like for instance I can swap these two numbers just by hitting the swap button like that right or I can push the data down the stack like this or pop it off the stack like that so these it's the calculator works 
um, in both reverse Polish notation and conventional calculator mode and there's no switching required you just kind of work as you go so this is like one thing this was designed so it can just sit at the bottom of your computer screen and be active if you're working on other applications and then of course you've seen my math tech instructor program that I have in here that I used to teach a bunch of other lessons and it's got a lot of features in here for annotating in here so I can type in here and then I can draw on the screen like you've seen before and the scripting language and then what I don't have on the screen right now is I have my texture design program if you've seen that as well so I have I can do all kinds of great textures like that so, but the tutorials are going to be the important thing and really if you could just maybe give me some like a one sentence or you know a couple word feedback in the the postings on YouTube to kind of give me an idea of what might work for you or might not. Also, I'm considering either selling tutorials and the blend files or textures or just whatever combination I might think is appropriate. The problem with doing videos is that you can't sell your YouTube videos that you have posted online. So you can't monetize it on your own website. And in order to get a, enough bandwidth to host my own videos, you actually need a fairly powerful server to accommodate the bandwidth. And since I'm not trying to reach a huge market like the other Blender tutorial sites, because I'm not really a mass market style site, then I have to really be careful about how I want to present the tutorials. I could present them in a small window in like an HTML5 format, but then you're looking at smaller videos. I could put them on DVDs and send them, but then there's a lot of time involved in sending DVDs or USB drives out. Or I could even put them into like a, um, a PDF style format and have text-based tutorials and then send the blend files out because the blend files are really powerful. If you having access to the blend files, if you had access to this blend file along with written tutorials, it would bring you up to speed really quick. And I'm going to have tutorials for I mean, it's such a huge range of subjects that will, it, to, just to appeal to a large variety of people and different things, but just kind of throwing some ideas out there for the moment and seeing what you think about it, because like I said, my goal initially was to put all the tutorials that I could out for free, even when I got past these first 500 mostly basic tutorials. I was hoping to keep going, but you, I've learned you need to have literally, I don't know, 100,000 views per month, you know, as a minimum to start making even the minimal amount of money to really keep anything going. It's unbelievable how many views you actually need, and I don't get anywhere close to that. So that's it for now. Just maybe you give me a little bit of feedback, and I'll have maybe a feedback form on the website or email or something. And so keep an eye out for that, please. SciFiAnimator.com coming up about the middle of this week. All right, I'll see you then.